Okay, you're wasting time with Arrow Productions. We are looking at one TV show and two movies that took their source material to new heights. We'll start with the simplest trajectory and then work our way up to the most complicated. First, we have Anything by Alfred Hitchcock. This is Rear Window from 1954, which is a classic. But it started out as It Had to Be Murder, a 1942 short story by Cornell Woolrich. In this one, it's a little more dated. The caretaker is a couple of servants. And you kind of have to plow through it knowing that the movie was a classic. Um, even though Cornell Woolrich was a good second-tier writer of his day and very successful. Next, we have the book, Mr. Roberts by Thomas Hagen. This is about um, a novel about what happened to him in World War II, which was more like the peacetime military in that there's a lot of uh, pettiness, but uh, no action. This was a huge bestseller. It went on to become a hit play in 1948. Um, again, uh, Thomas Hagen was starting to feel the pressure. He died in 1949. It was likely a suicide. It was disputed at the time. The reason he gave was uh, writer's block. But it looks, looking back on it, it looks more like substance abuse, um, particularly alcohol because he didn't need to write anything else. He had been a Reader's Digest editor before the war, which is the top of the food chain, um, when that particular food chain was much, much bigger than it is now. But the franchise went on. The high point was in 1955 with the, the movie Mr. Roberts, uh, again with uh, Henry Fonda, and then after that, there were some lower points in the trajectory. There was the Ensign Pulver movie from 1964 and the Mr. Roberts TV series from 1965 to 1966. Next, we have I Love Lucy, which ran from 1951 to 1960. This one has a long trajectory. And probably the biggest difference between I Love Lucy and its source material was the neighbors. Um, the others didn't have Fred and Ethel or their equivalents. So it starts off in 1940 with Mr. and Mrs. Cougat, A Record of a Happy Marriage. This is a book about a banker and his wife in Ohio, the Midwestern elite, and um, their party circuit and, and what happens to them. There was another book in 1945, also by Isabel Scott Rora, called Outside Eden, about the same couple. So in 1948, this became... The movie, Our Husband's Necessary, which I have not seen and have only heard of because of Lucy, this incident with the suit of armor where the husband gets stuck was part of the book. It was a costume party. And then uh, Our Husband's Necessary went on to another incarnation, uh, My Favorite Husband, which ran from... July 1948 to March 1951 on the radio. I Love Lucy was later in 1951. This had um, some of the same people working on it, including Madeline Pugh, so some of the episodes uh, were recycled. And um, there were other things um, that resulted from this. There was a My Favorite Husband TV show, which ran from 1953 to 55. I had hoped for a shot showing the TV show, but um, this was the best that we could do. And um, 
beyond that, there was a there was a movie with almost the same characters. This was the long, long trailer from 1953. It has nearly the same characters as I Love Lucy, uh, Nikki and Tacy instead of Ricky and Lucy, and they are on their honeymoon on a trailer. It's a middle-aged to young couple uh, driving around on their honeymoon. Um, but these are characters um, from arguably from Mr. and Mrs. Cougat, the record of a happy marriage placed into the action of m still more source material that is the book, The Long Long Trailer, which was written in 1951 by Clinton Twiss. This is an interesting story of an an older couple on the verge of retirement driving around pulling a trailer in their car. A lot of interesting descriptions of people and how they managed in uh, large house trailers at a time when uh, such things were new. So anyway, that's uh, about all. That is um, a TV show and a couple of movies that took their source material to new heights.